David Taylor, a Wyoming native. As a kid, his father, Dave, was the one who drilled him, trained with him, but he soon realized David needed a better training partner, so he would drive him to Utah to work out with the Sandersons. He followed Kale Sanderson to Penn State. Meanwhile, Kyle Day trying to join that exclusive company of four-time champions, trying to make history, becoming the first ever to do it in four different weight classes, originally from upstate New York. His father, Doug, an All-American wrestler at Penn State. Kyle Dake, three national titles in three different weight classes. He did it in 2010 against Montel Marion of Iowa. His sophomore season, 149 pound title against Frank Molinaro of Penn State. The Big Ten has not gotten the best of Kyle Dake. Then a year ago, he was able to do it as a junior in 157, knocking out Derek St. John of Iowa. His father, Doug, met David Taylor's father at a youth tournament in Ohio back in 2000. They have been friends ever since. Their families would spend a ton of time in the summer together. Kyle and David would train together. They've faced off a handful of times since high school. They're very close. Kyle Dake has not lost a match since March of 2011. David Taylor has been one of the more dominant wrestlers in the sport. David Taylor of Penn State. Kyle Dake of Cornell. Here we go. The referee for this match is Pat Fitzgerald of Edmond, Oklahoma, assisted by Scott Paul of Eugene, Oregon. And save your ticket stubs, wrestling fans. It's a once in a Taylor, the ankle pick, gets the first two points. And Taylor. Those are the first two points that Kyle Dake has allowed in this tournament. And he's going to make Dake open up here. That's what Taylor just accomplished. Three-time finalist David Taylor, the champion a year ago, and runner-up the year before. Anthony, is that good or bad? As far as right there, now Dake's going to have to open up here with Taylor. That's great for Taylor. Got that initial takedown there. Dick looking for the reversal, yes, or the escape. Not the reversal, just one point went out of bounds before the reversal could happen. This is what we expected. This is what we're going to get. Kyle Dick looks over to his corner, and he wants a coach's challenge. Two challenges remaining for Cornell, and an early one here in the first minute of this match. So here, nice job of Jake just elevating that leg of Taylor, exploding through and catching Taylor on, uh, Taylor on his side right there. It's a close two, maybe not. It's up to the refs here. See, the thing is, he's got the chin and... No, I don't think he had the leg over. He was under. It was close. That was close. We're looking for two instead of one for Dake. A reversal instead of just the escape. Not for a moment that maybe they would score it that way. I understand why Greg feels like he had it because he had that chin tight and he had the uh, leg cut. Dake moved up to 165 this year. When Jordan Burroughs, the gold medalist and the former champ at 165, convinced him to. He issued the challenge. Dake said, yeah, let's do it. And he moved up to 165. No reversal, just one point for the escape. Cornell loses a challenge. They still have one left. Penn State also has one challenge left. And not much else to say, but a three-time national champion seeking his fourth for the Big Red. They know each other so well. Fitzgerald, one of our lead officials for this match, veteran. Kyle Dick was the winner in their matchup at the Southern Scuffle, 3 2. Back to March 6, 2011. He's only lost four times in his career. 
has not lost since his sophomore campaign. Trying to make history and become the first four-time champ in four different weight classes against his longtime friend David Taylor. Single leg. Dave trying to turn him. 30 seconds. Oh, this looks so uncomfortable for Taylor right now. He's got his head out. He can turn in right there. He's going to get the two points. There it is. Dave takes the lead. Take down, Kyle Dave. 10 seconds. Big roll at the end, nearly Taylor was able to use leverage and stay away from two more take points. What a first period. Their third meeting this season, one point victories for Dake both times. A somewhat controversial point for Dake at the Southern Scuffle late at the edge of the mat on a reversal gave him the lead and the win in that match. But these guys have wrestled a handful of times since they've been friends. They've trained together. They know each other. Dave trying to become the first four-time champ in four different weight classes. It's never been done. Dave, there's a escape. He's up to it. Great hip time now. 27 seconds. Dave, he was Taylor. just able to explode. Get his hip separation and hip heist out. Trying to get that angle Taylor pick. Single this Taylor. Time. Staying aggressive, Dake. Maintaining. No out of bounds. Anthony, snapshot of the first three and a half minutes of this. Taylor got that initial takedown. That was huge for him to start off that way. But Dake, he's just such a true champion. Just regained his composure there, just stayed calm. And he's back in the lead here. But you never know. This is one of those matches. It's going to be fireworks either way. David Taylor said yesterday, there's going to be some points in this one. It's not going to be a low-scoring affair, at least not as low-scoring as it has been this year. They know each other. It will be four, two, eight. There's Joey the Dick, Kai's mother. Doug Dick's back there, former All American at Kent State. Third period. Taylor trying to get an escape point, get back to his feet. Riding time, not a factor. Makes another one of those guys that's extremely tough on top of his ride there. But a guy like Taylor, his quick stand-ups, he's explosive. It's really, a, you don't know what's, what's going to happen with his legs. Just giving him that respect. He's just trying to claw right him in there, just slow him down. But to beat the best, you can't get ridden, obviously, from a point standpoint. But uh, Taylor has to come up, put back pressure in, get to his feet like he is right now. It was a very impressive ride by Dick against Tyler Caldwell in the semis that gave him the win yesterday. Doing a good job so far. A minute 15 left. One twelve to go. Riding time moves in Dick's favor now at 21 seconds. Set, 
maintaining the ride. It feels like every time Taylor is trying to load up a drive, Dake senses it and brings him back down to the mat. Dake keeping so much pressure, that half Nelson tight. He's on his feet, pushing in. His knees aren't on the mat. So much pressure. What a commitment by Dake. He's got that half on Taylor. Two-point lead, 40 seconds left, and seven seconds away from riding time. He gets called for stalling here. A warning against Dake. Again, seven seconds away from riding time. That will help his cause with that stall warning. Trying to put him on his back. Very aggressive ride by Dave. <laughs> Nearly lost control. There is an escape point. Escape riding Taylor. time is a factor for Dave. He does have a riding Four time point. Eight. Taylor needs a takedown. He also has ride time currently. No stalling calls. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to go. There's a stall call. Five seconds left. Three out of bounds. It's 4-4, four, four, but the riding time point belongs to Dave. Three seconds left. Caution green, caution green. Hold on, guys. Stay in there. You have just witnessed history. For the first time ever, we have a four-time champ in four different weight classes. Kyle Dick. years at four weight classes. He just went from great to legend for Cornell. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Dick. What type of emotions were, were you dealing with when you ran out of the tunnel tonight? I was just excited. You know, I was really happy to be here, and uh, I wrestled a great match. What was your reaction when he scored that first takedown? I wasn't too worried. Um, I knew that I could come back from a, from a deficit, and I did. And uh, I proved to everyone that, you know, I deserve it, and I worked really hard for it this year. What ultimately was the difference in that match? You know, I think that uh, I beat him on the mat. You know, I thought I had a reversal, but got one. And, uh, you know, just rode him like a dog. When we look back at your career, what, what was the primary reason, you think, for your success? I have such a great support system. I have great coaches, great family members, great friends. And, you know, I, I just had that, that mental edge that I got from my parents. You know, I, I, I owe them. Everything, you know, I, I, I love them. Doug and Jody, uh, right, right over there in the Cornell section. <laughs> how do you, how do you possibly put this in perspective? I mean, from from where you sit, four championships at four different weight classes. How do you best put that in perspective? Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, it's an amazing accomplishment, and uh, I'm just really glad it turned out in my favor. Congratulations. Go celebrate Thank with your family. You. Thank you. Doug, the former All-American at Kent State. Jody, his mother. 
has only been done twice before. A four-time champion, Pat Smith, Kale Sanderson. But it has never been done in four different weight classes until tonight. Kyle Dake has put himself up with the legends of this sport here tonight in Des Moines, Iowa. A phenomenal 2013 championship. We have seen 10 champions crowned, and history has been witnessed. This is a night that the sport will not forget. Coming up next, Sports Center is on the way. We'll have more with Kyle Dake on Sports Center. That's it from Wells Fargo Arena. For Anthony Robles, Tim Johnson, our wonderful crew, Adam Amin, say good night. Jay Harris and Robert Flores are next.